So we are back in the lab, as you can see, yes. Okay, we are back, and today, we have Yeezys. Can you edit in the, have you figured out how to edit in the divine lights? No. Shining to how, no, okay. All right, well, imagine, imagine lights, ultra light beam playing in the background, light rays blasting out of the box. Okay. Anything to discuss or do we just break them out? Yo, shouts to Kickstarter for us for the assist. I almost forgot to thank them. Um, they always look out. They used to just be kind of like an online resell shop. Yeah. And then they opened an actual physical store location over here by us in Tampa, Florida. So, um, and now it's even better because we can just walk in. They got good inventory. They always do good business. So, um, shouts to them. We will put their social media and website info in the description for anyone who wants to check them out. Now, anything else to say before we break them out? No. Hit them with the drum roll. Drum roll, please. Bang, bang. The Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Semi-Frozen Yellow. Mm -hmm. In hand. Yep. So, We've talked about these a lot, what our thoughts were leading up to the release, et cetera, et cetera, how limited they were, and they were very super dumb limited. So we talked about it, and now we have them in hand, right? I, my, initially, when I first saw pictures, what did I say? Didn't like them. Didn't like them. Yeah, they're ugly, stuff like that. Then the hype beast in me started whispering, subtly at first, you know? Mm -hmm. And then it built and it started, it, it, it was this inferno, this hype beast inferno started building within me until, and well, now he's like screaming at the top of his lungs. Oh, okay. So it's not a whisper anymore. Now he's like, you know, it's the best sneaker of the year. It's the greatest sneaker of all time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he, it's actually more like Bill Walton. <laughs> I can I can see those from a mile away. I could smell I could smell the fabric. I could just it's just it's it's luscious. It's a succulent sneaker. <laughs> Bill Walton with inappropriate adjectives. Yeah. Okay, so no, I guess I stand by that. I think it's one of the weaker V2 colorways. You know I love the V2. Yeah. Tell him how I love the V2. He loves the V2. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I do appreciate the spiciness. And I do love the gum bottom. Yeah. You know how I feel about gum bottoms. I love gum bottoms. I mean, look at that. So they released about a week ago, right? About a week ago. November 18th. Yep. For 220 bucks, mm -hmm. right? The, the standard V2 retail. The most limited V2, right? Yeah. It, it, it appears to be. Um, I don't know. You know, we're not numbers guys, but they were very limited. So much more limited than the Beluga 2.0s. A lot more limited then those blue tints are going to be. Yeah. The hype beast in me kind of likes them. But I don't know about these. Resell on these has dropped some. Yeah. Right? I, initially, I was seeing like 1,300, 1,400. And then now I started seeing stuff like more like 1,000 and under or whatever. I, I don't know. I haven't been keeping I, up with it too much. It'll go down and then it'll go back up. Like, like most Yeezys yeah. do. Uh, even a lot of the stuff that's a little more accessible, right? You can't really call any Yeezy aside from maybe like a boot or something that he did. <coughs> oh, thank you. You can't really um, call anything like accessible. I yeah. But but the stuff that's a little easier to get, even that, you know, when it's got that low price point and it does begin to climb back yeah. up, you know, kind of similar to Supreme that way, I feel like. Yeah. You know, with a lot of stuff. So, of course, there's exceptions, but whatever. So, anyways, with the sneaker, I guess, right, do we want to give like a little quick review, even though we're not like a review channel like in the technical sense okay so some of the details here right so you have the the semi-frozen yellow some people were calling these the mcchickens i i told you when i first saw that 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 was a swing and a miss and it's a swing and a miss now that i'm looking at them as yeah well. I, I don't know i don't think of mcchicken but yeah it's like a muted highlighter that's a good way to describe it i've been saying this right i said this i will continue to say this this is a, one of the better yeezys See, I disagree with that, if I'm, I, but, but I know that you feel like that. See, and Buckets, let me tell you something. Buckets is the anti-hype beast. I'm not just saying that. I know I've 
said that over and over again, but I say it because it's true. Like this guy wears only what he likes. One of the few people who is never influenced by hype in any way at all. Like I'm telling you, this guy, some of the stuff this guy likes is just what he likes. Whereas me, you know, I can feel myself sometimes being influenced a little bit more by the hype. In general, we both buy what we like, right? Yeah. But I can be a little more hype beastie maybe. But I mean, these are much better than the all white Yeezys. Ah. In the all white colorway. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, they're cool. They're all right. Yeah, they're cool. But so are these better than the black and red pair? No. I think the best V2 is the Zebra. The second best is the Beluga. Best the Beluga 1.0. Yeah, okay. not the 2.0. Okay. And then I think that the third best is the black and red pair. I think that's probably the fourth best pair. Like the Olive and the Copper. Like, they're cool. The, yeah. I like the Beluga 2.0 more than these. The gray. Oh, I did it. I did an Instagram. Uh, oh, I saw that. I voted for the. Uh, for I voted these. for these. Yeah, it had like fourteen percent. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's idiots. The Beluga two point is winning by a landslide. And it's funny because these have more hype, right? Yeah. And uh, more expensive. But I think just as far as people, you know, well, you know what? In fairness, I'm not really a fan of yellow, and you know that. Yeah. I, I don't really dig yellow that much. Here and there, there's a few yellow sneakers that I can think of that I'm into. Or, but usually it's with yellow accents or yellow hits, not where the shoe is primarily yellow. Although I do like Vault. I don't know, man. These things, these things confuse me. I got so many emotions, so many thoughts with this sneaker. But for me, I would say it's middle of the pack for V2 colorways. Just a couple more details. Supply 350 on the side in red, as you can see. I mean, that's, that's the standard. And then maybe this is where the McChicken comes from. You have the orange stitching along that back pull tab there. Midsole is the is the semi-frozen yellow with just a hit of gum on the back, which yeah. I really, really like. Yeah, that's cool. I really, really like that. And then the gum bottoms, which I mentioned before, absolute fuego. I love gum bottoms. You can put gum bottoms on pretty much anything, and I'm gonna like them a little bit. Yo, you know what? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's the gum bottoms. That's my favorite part of it, is the gum bottom. You know? See, I, I, I saw a lot of people saying that that was their least favorite part of it. See, I like it. I like it. And I get why they're saying that because it's like, does it really go with this sneaker? But no, but yes. Yeah, to my point, you can put a gum bottom or anything. That's pretty much it. You know, we don't have to talk about these a ton. Adidas and Yeezy on the insole there. The 350 V2 is one of my favorite sneakers in the past several years. They are so, so comfortable. If you follow me on Twitter or Snapchat or Instagram or any of those things, you see that I wear the Zebra V2 more than any other sneaker. They're so comfortable. They look dope. I get so many compliments on them all the time, even from people who know nothing about sneakers. They really, really like the shoes. Like It'll be like a 50-year-old lady at the grocery store, yeah. and she's like, oh, hey, I really like those sneakers. What are those? You know, like they like catch people's eye, yeah. you know? So, um, and then, you know, I tell her talk about how comfy they are, and then, you know, maybe she gives me some broccoli casserole tips, you know, that that's how things work. Yeah. You know, symbiotic. One hand washes the other. Wise words from a wise man, Charles Buckets. Okay, so how would Bob Ross describe these? Wow. Bob Ross would describe these. I just think of a time of year. No mistakes, just, just happy trees. It's the winter. But the sun is out a little bit, and we're going to sprinkle a little bit of this in right over here. And then, you know, you, you take this brush and get a real light coat. Just a very light coat. And then we just want to put that Supply 350 in there just to just to give a little bit of ambiance in the, you know, this natural environment. Give it a little bit of depth. Yes. Somehow I'm like going into like a Snoop Dogg almost or something. I've got, to, I've got to brush up on my Bob Ross skills. No disrespect to the GOAT. Let us know how you feel about this sneaker. Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you despise them? Um, how do you feel about Yeezys in general? How do you feel about the other colorways, the Beluga 2.0, and then that blue tint that is coming soon behind the Beluga 2.0 just released, and then the blue tint is on its way. So let us know how you feel about this one. The other two, let us know what you ate for lunch. Leave a comment below. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. We will be right back here uh, tomorrow. Yeah. The Almost Daily Vlog. This is Buckets. I am Foamy, also known as Foamshire. We are out of here. What color is this? Gray?
It's like a grayish, kind of like a slate blue. Yeah. Almost like a flint gray. Yeah. Or flint blue. French blue. Flint gray. Um. I don't know. I can't read that. 